Hello everybody, Craig Shackley here with URConf. We're at Choctaw Duran and I am with the man, the myth, the legend, Brian Christopher. How are you, sir? I'm great, how are you, Craig? I'm good, I'm good, thanks for doing it. We did this a couple months ago and we had it. I really enjoyed that first interview because we talked yeah. about kind of how your slot channel got started, how it's grown over the last, gosh, what, five years now? Four and a half, yeah, almost five, yeah. Four and a half, and you're about to hit a major milestone, right? We were talking about it at lunch. I mean, by the time they see it, we're gonna hit it. Like, it's, it's within 24 hours, probably, yeah. 300,000 subscribers. 300,000 subscribers. I know everyone watching right now, they're clapping. They're <laughs> clapping, well, I can't believe it. I know, it's good to see you though, Craig, because last time we had to do it, you know, virtually, and, and, and we're getting closer, we're now six feet apart. One, yeah, one day we'll be, much, we'll be able to shake hands again. As opposed to a thousand miles apart. So yeah. what I, I, I'm very curious about, like, because of course it used to be you were uh, having to ask casinos for permission to like, hey, can I please film? Uh, I don't know, it seems suspicious. Now, you know, you're being put up at a place like this, a like Choctaw Durant, absolutely gorgeous. Like, so what, tell us about these trips. Like what is your, how many of these trips are you doing now? Yeah, I mean, we're basically doing at least one trip a week. Uh, this property, we're actually here for, I think, six nights total, and then we're flying to another property for a further five nights. Um, so I guess it's one, one a week there, but uh, sometimes it's a couple, couple in a week. But yeah, we're, we're just going all over the place. We, we want to showcase as many casinos as we can. You know, we want to show everyone every kind of place. I want to hit every casino in the world eventually, you know, but. Nice. One casino at a time. <laughs> One casino at a time. So what's your schedule like on a, on a trip like this? Uh, so yeah, we are here for uh, six nights right now, I believe. So uh, first day was basically just traveling. Uh, the next few days, we do a lot of filming on the floor. We, we film uh, five regular videos for our channel, and then we do some challenge videos. We're also shooting some live premieres that'll go out. Um, so it, it, it may seem like a little bit, you know, like only, you're only shooting 10 videos, but that takes us a couple days to do all that. Uh, and then on top of that, uh, we hold events. We did, uh, we did three meet and greets yesterday because uh, social distancing, can't have one big one anymore, so we just spread it out so everyone can have room. Uh, and then we're doing four group slot pulls as well, and everyone, uh, we're doing it in a really big, giant open space, so everyone's got six feet apart markers on the floor, so we can still do our group pulls. We have four of those to do as well, so. Well, we're, we're about to start one. The, the crowd is already starting to build. We got about 15 minutes before the group poll. Now, what, what's your feeling before like an event? Or is it, cause I, I feel like I'm getting a little adrenaline. Like it's like <laughs> before a basketball game or something. So what, what's your feeling? Is it like kind of before you go on stage, you get a little butterflies? Yeah, you still get a little bit of butterflies. I've done now about 120 group polls, I think. So I'm pretty used to it for the most part. Uh, but you know, even you know, when I was back a, as, as an actor, jumping on stage, at the very beginning, you get the butterflies. But as soon as you step out, it's like, all right, it's showtime, let's go. Let's have some fun. And uh, everyone's so cool that comes with these things. You know, like, they're just happy to meet you, you know? And, and then they get to spin with you and have some fun. So we're, we're basically just a bunch of friends just hanging out. That's awesome. Now, so aside from the group polls, when you're walking around, you're, you're doing all these films, you're telling us about one, I won't spoil it, but it sounds like an awesome video that's gonna be released in, in Christmas. Um, how do you decide which games to play? I just play everything I can, really. I mean, I, I want to show all the newest and greatest games out there, but I also want to show some of the older classic games and all of their favorites. You know, it's, it's, it might be my channel, but it's actually their channel. I'm playing what they want to see. So uh, I just, I literally, I don't have like a list of games I have to play or want to play. I just literally start on one end of the, of the casino and walk my way all the way through to the other end of the casino. So, Ada, I mean, Choctaw is, and I'm not being paid to say this, but Choctaw, I mean, it's a beautiful resort. There's a lot of stuff to do here. I know a lot of the places you go are big resorts. What do you like to do when you're not playing? What are some of the amenities you like to take advantage of? Yeah, well, here at Choctaw, for example, they have um, a beautiful outdoor pool area with cabanas. So usually we'll, get, we'll jump into the cabana. It's too cold for those right now. The pool is closed. Uh, but I love taking advantage of that. They also have like a bowling alley here. So I love to challenge Brit to a little bit of bowling. Uh, there's a movie theater if I wanted to here. Uh, I don't generally have time for that though, or an arcade, but uh, for most of the trips, I don't leave the property. So it's more about the experience of the restaurants for me. So a lot of, like you said, you're doing a lot of these um, promotions, traveling around the country where they're bringing you in. What, what are, anything pop to mind of like kind of creative 
promotions casinos have done with you beyond just like, hey, we got Brian Christopher here. Anything, any kind of cool co-promotions you could think of? That yeah, like we've done some, a couple of fun things. When we, when we went to, I think it was Cachada in Louisiana for the first time, they did a thing called um, Beat the Slot Guru, I think it was. And there was like announcements on the PA system and everyone that had their player's card in had a chance to be competing against me in a slot tournament, basically. And you had to beat the slot guru. Um, so that was a lot of, that was unique for me. That was fun. Um, I ended up beating them all though, which was kind of embarrassing because <laughs> it takes zero skill. So at the end, I started slowing down my spins so that maybe someone can overtake me. And I think a few of them did in the end, but that was something fun and unique for me. Well, it, it builds up your credibility as the slot guru. I mean, yeah, you, you, you gotta commit the champ. So uh, do you only play slots? Do you ever sit down and table game or just to mix it up? Predominantly just slots. Uh, if it, I can only film at slots generally unless I have special permissions. Um, I do enjoy roulette and blackjack. Uh, I prefer to play blackjack like at the tables with my friends though. Um, like we do our Rudy's Cruises with you guys. And that's my favorite time to play at tables because the whole table is basically Rudy's members and all of our friends, right? And because like for me playing blackjack, it's it's a skill-based game all of a sudden, and so you don't want to make the wrong move because then it affects everyone else's hand. And if they do the wrong move, then it affects your hand. So I, I, that's why I just gear towards going to play slots. Zero skill involved, which I love. So we, were at, we had lunch before this. Guy Fieri is a great restaurant. Um, and one of the waitresses is like, wait, it, I, I thought I recognized you, Brian. And then oh, yeah. she started, <laughs> and then we got out, and then somebody else you know, wave to you. So I'm, like you're a celebrity around here in the casino. Do you ever like when you're traveling from Southern California to here or to wherever, do you ever get recognized outside of the casino? It's happening more and more. I'd say like almost 50% of my Lyft drivers know who I am now, which is weird. Uh, I guess drivers like to watch YouTube. I don't know. Um, but generally like out and about in the city, going to the grocery stores or wherever, it's not as, not as common. Now, I, so thank you for the mask. I got a Oh yeah. I got, <laughs> upside down. I, I got upside down. Looks great, breathes great. So these the catchphrases you have, like how did like what is, what is that like? Like root, you know, when <laughs> is it something that happens and then you know right away like wow that was good? Or is it like how how do these come about? They just come out out of nowhere. Like the bands of one came out of nowhere. And as we were premiering that video, everyone's like, we need a Banza shirt. Where do we get the Banza shirt? And by the end of that live premiere, there was a Banza shirt in the store. Because they asked for it, they got it, you know? R random things, I told Britt today during filming, I'm like, I have no control over what comes out of my mouth. I really don't. And today I said something and I'm like, uh-oh, they're gonna ask for a t-shirt out of that one. What was it? It was, uh, uh, we're leaving with a profit in our pants, is what I said. <laughs> I don't I, I think I meant to say like in our pockets or something, but it came out profit in our pants and I'm like, oh, they're gonna try and twist that one into a t-shirt for sure right now, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like something I'd say about my two-year-old. Like <laughs> I need we need a diaper change. That's a lot, it's not a profit. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, I know we're we're coming up against wow, the crowd is building. Oh, so yeah. So how does it work? So for Smea, it hasn't done a, a group poll. Uh -huh. um, so walk us through it. They're signed up, you, you put it on your website, people sign yeah, up. Yeah, so, so what they do is they sign up in advance, because these ones, they fill up all the time. So we uh, generally fill up about 25 people for a group slot poll. Everyone shows up, we all put in the exact same amount of money. Um, so to this group right now is a $200 one, then we have a $500 group, and we have a $1,000 group. Uh, we all put in the money together into one high limit slot machine. And then we all get to do the same amount of spins at the machine. Uh, so if it's a $200 group pull, we're doing $20 spins. Everyone gets 10 spins a person. And at the end of that, once everyone has the equal amount of spins, we cash out, whether we're up or whether we're down. And we e evenly uh, split the money. Nice. And did Choctaw do this just for you? Because I they see did, yeah. They, they literally pulled games off of the gaming floor and put them in this whole mezzanine area. That was, that's, it's the, it was the best idea we could come up with to make sure everyone was socially distan distanced properly. Uh, so we literally have markers on the floor, like over six feet apart from each other. So that way we can always, we can still have our fun, you know. It might be a pandemic, but darn it, we're gonna have some fun. That's right. Well, we've got some fun ahead in, we're praying it's February on, uh, what ship are we on? Oasis of the Seas. Oasis of the Seas, yeah. yep. So, we're hoping we'll have some fun at sea, and then we also have one next August. August, Independence of the Seas, yeah. The Rudy's Cruises, they're always a blast, and the, like, what I love is the music videos.
Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. How did you come up with the idea for that first one? How did you plan out how it's good? Like, walk us through the creation of a Rudy's Cruise music video. Oh my gosh. Well, it actually started before the Rudy's Cruise. I did a music video with my family, because we did a, a family trip to Malta in Europe, and we, we were a group of like 30 people. And I was literally at the gym one day working out, and I had a song in my ears, and it was so catchy, and I, I just started visualizing this music video. And I, came, I just sent it to all my family. I'm like, here's your lyrics, go learn them. <laughs> We're gonna do this. I've never done this before. Um, and we went for it. And I think this is actually just, it was pre my YouTube channel too, I think, too. Um, and so when, it, when the first Rudy's Cruise was coming along, the second Rudy's Cruise was coming along, I'm like, you know what, I should probably do that for this group. And I went, I went through to try and find the right song because most songs are copywritten that we can't use on YouTube or the video gets taken down. So I had to find one that would work for YouTube. Uh, found one and it, they went wild. And I think that, that, that music video was the main reason that people wanted to join us for the next one. So, <laughs> yeah. So we've got the, the Queen song, we've got Tum Chumbawamba. Yeah, that's it right now. Do you have anything in mind? Well, I, I told them we're probably gonna do something a little different for the next cruise because we're gonna have to wear masks. So we can't really lip sync. You know, you, you can't just like pretend you're just saying that. Or maybe you can, I don't know. So I said we'll, we'll come up with something a little more unique maybe, see what we can come so up with. So less lyrics. No, yeah. just be tequila. Oh, mm, just tequila. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my gosh, genius, done, <laughs> done, and done. <laughs> Love it. Well, Brian, I know you've got your, man, this crowd is growing by the minute. You've got your slot pull. I'm getting butterflies just waiting for it. <laughs> Thank, thanks for carving out some time before your, your slot pull to, to talk pleasure. to us. My pleasure. Always time for you, Craig. Oh, <laughs> man.